I've been using ChatGPT for a while now, but its newest image generator is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I've been playing with it nonstop to create insane images like these, but I'm not going to show you how to create Studio Ghibli images. I mean, it is cool and fun, but instead what I want to show you is how to actually make money with this. Because now you can just upload a basic photo of a hoodie and a pair of jogger pants here and ask it to simply add a model. And this is what I got. And we can even ask it to produce a lifestyle shot and it will do that in seconds with an insane level of detail. If you're a photographer or a model, I would be worried. And I even uploaded a simple photo of a pair of earrings here and ask it to put it on a model. And I got this beautiful image with a model with the exact earrings in the first try. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create images like this, including the prompts. I've got five practical examples of products on Etsy that you can immediately apply this to. And you know, I've noticed that a lot of products have really bad images, but they're still able to make tens of thousands of dollars per month. So imagine what you can do if you come in with better images. But before I show you how to create the images, we want to first find a winning product to sell, right? I want to show you a product that I recently found on Etsy that is making $9,000 per month in profit. And that is profit, not revenue. And I always like to use Etsy as a benchmark because it's one of the largest marketplaces around to sell products like these. And we can see all the revenue numbers, all the profit, the unit sales. So we can use all this data to make our decisions. Now, I was doing some research over the weekend and I found this personalized candle here. And according to Allura, they're selling over a thousand units every single month and they're making $18,000 in revenue, which is quite a lot from a single product. Now, I want to show you how I would calculate the profit, you know, the amount that I get to keep. But you have to understand that this is a print demand product. You can see that Printify has the same exact candle here, which means that you don't have to buy any inventories to sell a candle like this. You simply have to list it, create really good images with ChatGPT, which I'm about to show you next, and start making money, right? So zero risk with all the potential upsides. Now, I want to show you the math really quickly. So looking at the listing here, it is selling for $20 for the 9-ounce version. And if you scroll down, you'll see that they charge $6 for shipping. So total, that is $26. And if you go back to Printify, you click on provider info here, you see that the cost of this product is $9.15, and it will cost you an additional $8 to ship. Now, if you take out the cost of the product, $9.15 plus shipping, $8, that is $8.85 in profit, which is around 35% profit margin, which I think is really healthy for a print demand product like this. I think between 25-40% profit margin is really good. It gives you a lot of cushion for you to reinvest the profits into the business. Now, if you go back to Etsy, you can pull up Allura and you can just do the simple math, right? 1,045 units being sold every month multiplied by $8.85 for the profit and you get $9,200 in profit every single month and just for this listing alone, right? And if you go back to the shop level, you will see that this seller has made $700,000 in total revenue and they only started in 2023, right? And by the way, it's really easy to find winning shops just like these. I use Allura, who's kindly sponsoring this video. So to find a shop like this, I use the research tab here so I can see all the shops on Etsy and I can put some filters on the left. And let's say I wanna see shops that are doing at least 10K a month, for example or maybe doing a certain number of sales, I can just put it here on the filter and it makes the research process that much faster, right? Than just browsing Etsy manually. And I can also search by candle here and it will give me all the shops that are selling candles along with their sales figures here. And also if you're browsing on Etsy and you found a certain product, you can simply click on the Chrome extension here and it will automatically pull up all the revenue numbers for this listing and all the details here. But the thing that I really wanna show you about Allura is they've got this AI tool that analyzes shop reviews and it will actually tell you what customers love and what could be better right so it's kind of a cheat sheet on how to make your product better so you'd have to go through over 3400 reviews here the ai will analyze it for you in just seconds now in terms of pricing allura costs 14 dollars a month for this plan here i think this is super worth it for a tool that has tons of useful features so if you guys want to give it a try you can use my link below where you'll get an additional 30 percent of any of these plants. Thanks again, Allura, for sponsoring this video. Now that we know how to find a winning product, let's start creating images. Now, if you look at this thing here, I think that the images are not that great. I mean, look at all this. Uh, these are just mediocre, right? And although that's the case, you see that they're doing very well in sales, right? So I think there's a massive opportunity here for you to come in with better design and potentially grab some of that sales. So let's create this product here with ChatGPT. So I went to ChatGPT and asked it, to give me 10 funny quotes to put on a candle. Just as simple as that, right? And with that prompt, I got 10 different options here. And just going through this, I like number four here. If you can smell this, you're too close. I think that's pretty funny. Now, of course, it is funny to me, but it might not relate to other people, right? So the smarter thing to do here 
is actually go to the shops on Etsy that are selling candles. And you want to do this research, use Allura to scrape the listings here. And you can sort by the unit sales and just to figure out which quotes are selling the most. And then you want to write down all the quotes that are selling the best. Let's say you found 10 best selling quotes, feed that into ChatGPT for some context and ask it to give you 10 more similar quotes like these with a similar humor. So this way you're not creating something that is based on your judgment or your feeling, right? But you're doing this, basing it on something that's already proven to work. So the next step was I took a screenshot of this listing here just for context. And I also grab a picture of this candle from Printify because this is the actual product that the customer will get, right? And you can see that Printify also has some lifestyle shots here, which I think none of these images are usable. They're all pretty bad. So I took this plain candle image here for reference and uploaded that as well. So I've got two images here and I said, I like number four, place that on the candle label in the first image. I will use this as a listing image on Etsy and it should be a single product shot with shadowing on the bottom, right? Include these details on the packaging and design as you see fit. 100% natural soy wax blend, set Christmas warmth, size four ounces. And, and just a couple of seconds, this is what it came up with. So I think that looks amazing. You know, everything looks really, really nice, including the text here. So I think the revolution here is the ability for it to actually produce accurate text, right? Because it used to be very hard for AI to get the text right. Uh, it used to be just okay. But as you can see now, it is perfect, right? And if you notice as well, it did include all the details about the candles here on the bottom part. So if you compare this with this original listing, I think ours looks much better. Now, we don't want to stop here. So let's say I want to create some additional lifestyle shots with this candle. So this is what I wrote. Give me a three lifestyle shots and I want rustic and farmhouse vibes. Very, very simple prompt. And this is what I got. This is crazy good. So imagine if you had to do this yourself, you probably have to find a place that is like this, right? You have to get the right setting, the right props, you know, for the background. And you also got to make sure the lighting is good. So AI did this in just two seconds. Now I didn't stop there. So I did ask it to create an infographic with all these details. 100% natural soy wax blend, toxin free, paraben free, 50 hour burn time, handmade in the USA. I think that is phenomenal, right? So. If you think about it, you can definitely do this on Canva, but just think about the time savings. And this was just done in five seconds. And if I don't like any of these wordings here, I can click on this image and you can actually select the area that you want edited and I can prompt it to change it for me. Now let's move on. Now I think a lot of listing images on Etsy are quite boring with just the product shot there. I mean, I do get it. You know, people don't want to spend so much money to hire a model photographer, right? But there was a study done that said that people are more likely to buy if there's a person holding the product. So it's humanizing your product, kind of social proof as well. So what I did was I asked ChatGPT to create a UGC style lifestyle shot, a hand holding the candle shot using an iPhone. So I want this to be a natural shot, not very polished. And this is what I got, which is again, really, really good. I can definitely switch out the hand to a woman's hand. I think that would fit better, but you can see the detail on this hand here. I mean, it looks super real, right? But it did give me this angle as if I was the one who took that photo using an iPhone because that's what I asked it to do. Now, I think we can make this even better by using an actual model and holding the candle, right? So I said, create a lifestyle shot where a woman model is lighting the candle, shot from the side angle, maintain rustic and farmhouse vibe. Just look at that. And if you notice, it still got all the text correctly on the product and the rustic farmhouse feel is still there. I wouldn't change a thing on this, right? Imagine if you had to hire a model for this, find a place to shoot, hire a photographer. This is done in seconds. Again, I believe you can even do it on the free plan on ChatGPT. Now, of course, if you're selling a product like this, you're not just going to sell one variation of this product. You can sell maybe 20, 30 different quotes and you can have everything ready literally in like two to three hours. And what blew me away from this experience is that Everything was done at the first try. I didn't even give it much context. And as you can see, I give it simple prompts and it was able to produce something that exceeded my expectations. Now, if you think that what I've shown you is mind blowing, you might want to stick around because I'm going to show you a few other examples and the results are pretty insane. So I know a lot of sellers on Etsy that are selling print and demand apparel as well. And we always see the same image being used over and over again, right? But now we're going to use ChatGPT to create something unique, something even better. So just an example, I took a plain picture of a hoodie like this and a pair of black joggers. My prompt was use the hoodie and jogger pants attached and put it on an attractive female model. Make it sporty, Lululemon vibe, right? And this is what I got. Really amazing detail. 
just look at how this compares to something that is on a branded website like this. I think that's on the same level or even better. And then I also want to create a lifestyle photo. The model is carrying a yoga mat, walking to a modern yoga studio in New York. And here's the result at the first try, right? I mean, look at the detail here. She's carrying the yoga mat, which looks perfect. And she's still wearing the same thing, right? And she's not changing everything. And ChatGPT also gives me the same exact model, right? It's not changing the face at all, which is perfect. And I'm also getting this Soho vibe of New York City, right? It's perfect. Now, let's take this to the next level. I've shown you how ChatGPT is able to create better images for your listing. But what if I told you that you can also sell an actual service? So you guys have probably seen listings like this, selling custom pet portraits, where the customer would submit a picture of their pet and you would paint that into something like this, right? So you can imagine that manually, this would take a lot of time to do, but apparently this seller somehow was able to do it in six hours. But now with ChatGPT, you can even do it in less than one minute, right? So let me show you what I did. So I found this photo of a Corgi on Google and I just uploaded it on ChatGPT and ask it to take the photo of the Corgi and turn it into a painting in the style of the second image, right? Which is the image that I found on Etsy. Background is soft pastel green and add name Max, right? Just an example. And add a wooden frame. And I want the orientation to be portrait. A couple seconds later, look at this. That's amazing, right? Same quality. And if you look closely, it even capped the color here. And the name is Max. It's also here, written in a similar font, which I think looks really good. Probably the only thing that I would change is maybe make the dog smaller. I just feel that it's a little bit too big, but that would be super easy to do, right? But you can see that it's able to produce that in just one try. I have to emphasize that because, you know, before this, when I was using Mid Journey, it at least takes me 10 iterations to get the same level of quality, right? And then of course, I also want a lifestyle shot, create a lifestyle shot of the product placed in a living room. And this is what I got, amazing, right? Now seeing this, I think some of you might be thinking, you know, will, if AI can do this, why don't everybody just do it themselves? Why pay somebody on Etsy to perform the service, right? I believe that there's always a market for it. You know, most people don't know that this technology exists. That's number one, let alone prompting it correctly. And also, if you're targeting an older demographic, they're not going to bother, right? They happily pay 20, 30 bucks to get the final product rather than to figure out how to use ChatGPT. Now, if you think that this is cool, you're going to like the next example, which is earrings. A lot of people are selling jewelry on Etsy. You know, Caitlyn Minimalist is one of the biggest sellers here. They've been around since 2014 and apparently they're making almost a million dollars a month in revenue and $111 million all time on the platform. I did not know that. That's just insane. And because of their success, there are a lot of other small sellers as well selling jewelry. But what I really want to show you is I want to take this example of a pair of earrings here and I want to put it on a model, right? So just like I showed you earlier, I just uploaded these two pictures of uh, earrings here and I simply said, create a lifestyle shot of a model wearing the earring shot from the side angle close-up shot uh exclude the body right only show the face of the model exclude the body right and this is what i got look at that i mean followed my instructions to the t again a game changer if i were to find a model to hire for this it's going to cost me a lot of money right especially if i'm selling 20 30 different types of earrings i probably don't have the budget for that now speaking of Hiring models, it is expensive, but it's still doable, right? But what if you're selling a baby product on Etsy, like these onesies here? It's kind of impossible to find a baby model, right? And I think this is where ChatGPT is really useful. So I did the exact same thing. So I just uploaded this image of a onesie to ChatGPT and I said, create a lifestyle shot with a baby wearing this onesie. Use the same design on the onesie. Baby should be lying on a bed, just as simple as that. Look at that. I was blown away. I mean, the baby looks like a human baby and it doesn't look like AI. And let's say I want to change the text to take me to the library. And it did change the text correctly with also the same design, keeping the same color theme. And it did not change the baby's face, which is really, really good. And I also found this image uh, for a lifestyle shot that I really like. And let's say I want to do the same thing for the onesies that I'm selling here. So I want the five onesies placed like this with this style. This is what I got. Now, if you notice closely, right, the problem is it is showing the same text for every single onesie, which is not what I want. So I did ask it to revise it and change the text here and maybe add some light creasing to make it more natural. And this is what I got, All right, a lot better. So by now you can see the power of ChatGPT with creating images. And as a small seller, you can now achieve the same level of quality, just like the big brands, even without a big budget. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to watch another video, I think you're going to like this one. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.